Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and welcome to the free stocks I'm buying November 2020 edition and this is where I talk about the free stocks that I'm more than likely looking to buy in this month at some point. It is a video series that I've done for a while on this channel, uh, probably for like the last three or four years. It does bring in a few new viewers so if you are new around here maybe subscribe. You guys that are here all the time, you guys can smash the like button. Let's try to get to uh, 250 likes. That'd be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about the free stocks I am looking to buy this month or the free most likely I'm going to buy. With it being earning season uh, and especially tonight, we've got loads of big earnings coming out and uh, probably next week there's a few more as well. Um, there could, you know, if a stock, you know, totally crashes out of nowhere then you know I might be buying them but I don't know that's going to happen just yet if you get what I mean so uh, I will be talking about the free stocks right now that I am looking to add into this month so uh, as always smash that like button and we'll take a look. So number one is my newest addition into the portfolio which is called Tattoo Chef and the ticker symbol is TTCF. So I have started buying this one, it is currently my smallest position in my portfolio but I have left a lot of room to carry on buying more. The reason why I've left so much room to buy more is because it's a recent IPO or a SPAC stock and because of that there's a lot of volatility, It'll, it could move up, it could move down and I just left myself a lot of room to carry on buying a lot more into this company. And what Tattoo Chef do is they offer a lot of um, food uh, that is made from uh, plants and we know how big this market is we know how successful it can be by looking at what beyond meats has done recently and i'm a big fan of these now i always say that when you're buying a company you should look into what is the catalyst for that share price going up you know if i'm buying a company how am i going to make money what's going to be the reason more investors are going to come in so i make profit on my share price well first of all it's a big market they're in it's a big growing market and also when you look at the company itself it's only just starting up with some massive massive growth rates it's done phenomenal over the last few years that it's been operating and recently one of the new additions to the company was it launched its e-commerce platform which i think could be quite huge for the company itself but just very basically as well it's only just starting up it's only just starting in the us it's hardly international so it's got massive growth markets to go you know, around the world at the moment. But just the partnerships it has, it's trialing a partnership with Target. If Target takes it into all of its stores, massive growth right there. It's also got a partnership with Walmart, which in June was operating about 17% capacity. They're going to move that up to about 50% capacity by the end of the year. So it's still not in every single Walmart store. And if you then go and put it in every other Walmart store, um, obviously the sales are just going to keep ramping up. So you've got the potential of the Walmart deal. You've got the potential of a target, detail, uh, target deal. You've also got the e-commerce platform. You combine that together, you can only just see you know, the revenue side of it growing massive and massive going forward. And the great thing about Tattoo Chef as well is I like the branding side of it as well. And I also like the financial financials you know the growth is fantastic the revenue is fantastic especially compared to a beyond meats it's got a good balance sheet as well but the thing is is when you look at the valuation right now of this company and it's trading at something like a price to sales ratio of like four and you look at one of its main competitors out here i think the whole sector the whole kind of like consumer uh you know eating foods that's plant-based it's all based on beyond meats and you look at beyond meats and what they've done and their growth and you look at the you know what the market cap is on beyond meats compared to tattoo chef you look at the price to sale ratio and you know tattoo chefs trading at a price to sale ratio of a, about four right now and you look at something like a beyond meats that is something in the 20s so it's like you know five times the price to sale ratio of what uh, tattoo chef is the valuation compared to you know beyond meats when i think tattoo chef is growing at a faster rate than them. I think it's very close on the revenue front as well. And you look at going, compare that to its competitor, Tattoo Chef is maybe the better company. And also it's at a massive, massive cheaper valuation. So I think from the, the catalyst point of view of why Tattoo Chef's gonna go up is great. And I also think when you look at you know its competition, it's a far, far cheaper stock as well. So number one is Tattoo Chef. Number two is one of the companies that I'm known for and it's one that I keep buying quite often. It's a longer term hold for me. I'm willing to hold this company for a, about two to five year hold, uh, depending on what, what states allow online gambling. But it is gang stock. So if for you guys that are new to this series and might not have heard of gang, I'll sum it up very quickly, but I've got full videos on gang. Basically what gang do is they allow online gambling through its platform. So let's just take an example of a, a betting company like Paddy Power. Paddy Power wants to go online. What they do is they go to gang and gang can provide them the platform to get online. Very much if uh, you were a shop and you wanted to get online e-commerce, 
and you wanted someone to help you set up, you'd go to Shopify, Shopify would then get you online. So that's very much what Gang is. It allows a lot of these classic bookies, casinos to get online very quickly and easy, and then it just takes a cut of the commission that comes through it. And it was a very successful company. Uh, it's done very well, it's profitable, it's got a very, very good balance sheet, and the growth previously has been fantastic. But the big catalyst for why this share price is gonna go up in the next two and a half years to five years for me, is that a lot of states at the moment in the US don't allow a lot of online gambling uh, and because of it not allowing online gambling and states needing more and more money, what can the tax? A lot of these states for me are gonna start allowing a lot of online gambling. We've seen more and more starting to happen. We've got Michigan coming up very soon, which will be massive. And like I say, I think the catalyst is, is when more and more states allow online gambling, it's gonna be a very big market and gang are gonna be one of the benefits from there because you're not, you know, something like a DraftKings, a Golden Nugget, you're buying the individual company, you're hoping that company does well. Something like Gang, we've seen it, they've signed massive de uh, deals with like Churchill Downs, Penn National, Wynn Resorts, and, they kind of cover, they kind of get a, a little snip of every company's revenue. So even, you don't have to rely on like DraftKings and be massive because that's one company and they have to do their thing. Whereas Gang uh, have so many little snips of every kind of, you know, company that's out there that are in this sector. If all they need is one or two of them companies to do quite well and they'll do well off them. And I think that gives it a very, you know, a big advantage to buying in something like a DraftKings because you're just relying on them. Because Gang has so many deals with all these kind of uh, betting companies that are going to be out there, it puts it in a very, very nice position. So from me, as, a, as an investor, I'm thinking, why is the share price going to go up? Well, you see more and more people gambling, especially in the US being allowed. And also because it has so many different income streams from different companies, that's going to allow it to take little bits from every company, even the ones that do really well. And that's going to bring it into the company and like I say fantastic revenue growth at a very good valuation right now as well so i will carry on adding a little bit more into my gang position going forward and the last one is a chinese company that i've talked about on this channel before uh, which is called huya so huya is a stock that's been a little bit choppy at the moment uh, recently it was announced that it was going to merge with another company called douyu and i think a few people have moved from huya to douyu because the valuation on that company was a little bit cheaper and of course they're going to be merging together for a 50 50 merger so people have seen the cheaper valuation there i've always said on this that i do think that could be a good move the problem is is if your merger doesn't go through then you're stuck with douyu shares but the merger will probably happen but i'm not gonna just gamble all that for you know that little kind of bit of profit there i'm happy to just you know hold my you know huya shares and buy that company because for me that's the company that i want to hold and if anything ever did happen which i don't think it will do but if it did happen i want to make sure that i'm holding huya shares not dou shares so once again i run through like why is this company going to do well for me well this is a company that i think will do a lot better than me than uh potentially like gang stock because I think Gang's like a, a two and a half year to five year hold, whereas who yeah, I do really expect to start performing very well in the next one to three years. That's where I see it doing quite well. Now, what it does, it has a lot of online streaming, esports, and that's growing absolutely huge right now. As well as that, we've got the new console cycle happening, which will lead to more streamers, more people going on streaming platforms. And especially obviously in China, because this is where Huya is, it's the Chinese kind of platform, whereas Twitch is like the US kind of platform. So Huya is gonna have massive growth from that kind of view. It has been growing massive revenue, massive profit, a massive clean balance sheet as well. The balance sheet is phenomenal on Huya. And the great thing now is that it's got its main competitor, Douyu, working with it. So basically, you know, Huya is gonna control a lot of this market right now. And one of the hidden things in this company as well is the massive stake that Tencent have in this company. And I think Tencent, because they're the ones kind of forcing through this merger, I think Tencent might actually buy out this company or buy a bigger stake in it because it has, you know, Huya is going to control, I think, 80% of the market. And I think Tencent wants more of this market. So I think they could potentially buy a stake. If not, I think, you know, the share price will go up because of the revenue growth, the profit growth, and, you know, more and more streamers coming onto the, you know, the platform, more and more esports growing, especially with the new console cycle uh, and the new game titles that will come with it. So either way, if it in, ends up with Huya in a buyout situation, or it ends up with Huya with the share price game because of the benefiting from the new console cycle. I believe Huya is gonna be in a great position in a year to three years time anyway. So guys, those are the three stocks I'm buying in November 2020 edition. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new and you made it all the way through to the other side, make sure you subscribe. You guys are here all the time, smash the like button and I'll see you in the next video.